Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to a new vlog. So today is Saturday, November 27th, and I figured that I would take you along on a productive day in my life. We just recently had Thanksgiving, so I go back to work on Monday, and I have a ton of things to do before the brand new work week starts. We're about to get started. I've already gotten ready this morning. I ate breakfast. Freddie and I went on a walk, so now we're about to get started with our busy day. If you're new here, my name's Olivia, and I am a fourth year teacher living in Tennessee, close to Nashville, with my husband, Matt, and my fur baby, Freddie. So let's go ahead and jump into today. I'm about to make my coffee this morning just to kind of like help wake me up, and we're actually going to go and get groceries, which I don't normally do. We normally do Walmart pickup, but I just decided today I'm going to go be productive we're actually going to go to Kroger instead of Walmart and get a few groceries for the upcoming week. So I'm about to go get my journal, make my to-do list, kind of check what upcoming dates we have. I'm going to double check the grocery list and menu that we worked on last night. And then we're going to go get some groceries and get started. is done I tried to think of everything that was in my brain and just wrote it down on the paper and we're gonna try to get everything done that we can so so far I put walk Freddy did that crossed it off shower get ready did that double check the grocery list and menu I'm about to do that get groceries clean and when I say clean it's just going to be like a little tidy up because next week I actually plan on doing a clean with me video because my sweet mother-in-law is coming into town for her birthday. So we'll do like a much deeper clean next week. So we're just gonna kind of tidy up everything. Prep for the upcoming week. I just feel much more prepared for my work week if everything just is ready to go, laid out. I have an idea of what I'm doing, so we're gonna do that. I need to fill up my planner, double check dates. I'm like the world's worst at this, like I have a planner I always have planners and then I go through phases where I use them and then I don't use them so I need to just go through that and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything because I kind of have a bad habit of writing things down in there and then not looking at it and then completely forgetting an important date <laughs> I also need to update every dollar which is what Matt and I use for our budget it's the Dave Ramsey app we just have the free version we don't pay for it um, so I need to go through, especially after I go get groceries and update the budget there, and then probably later when Matt gets home, we'll plan for the December budget together because we, we do that together, but I figured I can just go through and update myself, so I'll go and do that after I get groceries. And then I need to unpack from my Thanksgiving trip. Matt actually, or unfortunately, had to work during Thanksgiving, so I, Freddie and I actually went to Alabama to visit my family. So I've got a lot of unpacking to do from that trip. And then washing my makeup brushes. I have been meaning to wash my makeup brushes for like the past month and just still haven't, which I know is totally gross. So we're gonna do that. And that way I have clean makeup brushes to use for the upcoming week. So we're gonna double check that menu and list really quick. Matt and I actually use Google Keep to do our list and our menu and I love it. So let's double check that and then we can go. This is basically where we plan out our menu for the week. So today is Saturday, we're going to have a salad. We're just gonna try and get back on track with our healthy eating. And then Sundays, I always love to do a soup because it just makes things super easy. So we're gonna do soup on Sunday and then have leftovers 
on Monday because no one wants to cook on Monday after you've been working, especially after a break. So we'll just do leftover soup on Monday. And then Tuesday, we're going to have chicken fajitas, but we're doing it like this week. I'm not doing bread and I'm trying to avoid additional sugars. So we're just going to do low carb chicken fajitas, like with no chips or shells. And then Wednesday, we call it our yo-yo day. It's just where you're on your own. You just find something that you might like to eat. And then Thursday, we're gonna do a salad again. And then Fridays, we always do pizza. And we're actually going to do a homemade pizza that day. And then here's where you can see our grocery list that we use. So what I'll do is just use my phone when I go to the store and I'll just check things off as I go. But this is kind of what I'm thinking about picking up when we go. All right, the grocery list has been checked, double checked, so I think we're ready to go to Kroger and grab our groceries. And then when I get back, I'll continue checking off things on that list so we can have a productive day today. <laughs> Just a quick little grocery haul of everything that I got from Kroger. Starting over here, I picked up some feta cheese for this Mediterranean salad that I'm going to make for my lunches this week, along with some bean broth for the soup. Then I'm going to make some cherry tomatoes, some no sugar added peanut butter, some salted peanuts. I also got some apple cider vinegar for the dressing that I'm going to make to go on that Mediterranean salad. I picked up a kombucha. I'm trying to make myself like these. This one sounded good, so I'm gonna try that in just a few minutes. Picked up some mozzarella cheese for the pizza we're going to make, some carrots, some ground beef, got some chicken. These olives are so good. I don't know what it is about them, but like this brand, I've had them before, and they just taste so good. So I picked up some of those. And then we got some crushed tomatoes, some fire roasted diced tomatoes, and some tomato paste. Over here we've got, I had to get two different kinds of cucumbers. The salad that I'm making called for an English cucumber and then I just picked up a regular cucumber for salads. Two yellow onions, some bell peppers, frozen green beans to go in that salad that, I mean not the salad, the soup that we're making. Blueberries, blackberries, potatoes also for the soup. Matt wanted some croutons for his salad. I'm trying to do um, no extra carbs. So I'm not gonna eat those, but Matt wanted some. And then we also got a spring mix for our salads that we're gonna eat. So really quick, I'm gonna put those groceries away and it's actually 11.41. So I think I'm gonna take just like a quick little snack break. I'm not really in the mood for lunch, but I might just cut up an apple or something and eat that and just relax for a few minutes before I get started with the rest of my to-do list because the goal is to finish by the time Matt gets home from work. So I'm thinking that he'll be back home around like 3.30, 4 o'clock. So the goal is to finish everything on the list before then. So I'm gonna put the groceries up, take a quick break, and then get back to work. All right, I grabbed a quick bite to eat and now it's time to get started on that to-do list so that we can finish up our productive day. So I think I'm going to kind of go ahead and do the tidy up um, task that was on the list so that way everything is just nice and clean and that's a big one that I can check off. I'm gonna walk around and kind of tidy up the living room and the kitchen area and then our master bedroom area. I'm not going to begin to even think about going into the guest bedroom or the guest bathroom because that will be a task for next week when Matt's mom comes. So I'm gonna start in the living room and then also the kitchen before I go and tackle the master bedroom. The 
the couch is looking good now. I kind of vacuumed where Freddie sits and dog hair gets everywhere. It's kind of annoying, but what can you do? I cleaned up my desk area. I think this area looks pretty good. I also vacuumed these two chairs and then I sprayed the furniture down. I think the last thing that I'm gonna do is vacuum, but I think I'm going to wait until I've already cleaned the kitchen area and the master bedroom. So that way I can kind of vacuum everything at the end. I figured that would be like the easiest thing to do. So now it's time to tackle the kitchen. I actually ended up making a salad for my lunch. So I left quite a big mess in there. So we're gonna go pick up the kitchen and then we'll move on to the truly terrible room, which is the master bedroom. So now that the living room looks really good, the kitchen now looks really good, I am going to fill this cup up with water and chug that. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum these two areas and then I'm actually going to put a pause on the tidying up because I think Freddie needs to go outside. I think I'm gonna do like a quick wardrobe change after vacuuming and I think he and I are gonna go on a little bit of a walk just to get both of our bodies moving and then I'll come back in and tackle the master bedroom slash bathroom area. It is not wonderful. And then while I'm doing that, I'm also going to tackle um, unpacking my bags. So we'll be able to do two things that are on the to-do list at once. So vacuuming and then a quick walk and then we'll cross off some more things on the productive to-do list for today. just got back from our walk it wasn't it wasn't like a crazy walk we just kind of got out got some sunshine I think it was like 16 minutes almost 17 minutes so and he was happy he got to go outside so I think I'm about to start on the master bedroom all right hopefully we'll be able to tackle it quickly because I do have some other like computer work things that I need to get done today as well so oh, let's get started on the master bedroom The tidying up is all done. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. So now it's time for the computer work that I had to do. I need to finish updating every dollar, which I told you earlier was the budgeting website slash app that Matt and I use. I need to update my planner and check it, make sure that I'm all good. I want to check my plans for the upcoming work week and just make sure that I know what I'm doing. I'll actually probably do more of that tomorrow. I just wanted to get most of my work done today. That way tomorrow was just relaxing. Well, I mean, as relaxing as it can possibly be because I always get the Sunday scaries something fierce on Sundays, especially like after a break and then going back to work is so hard, but it's okay. We're gonna make it, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and get that computer work done. It's 2.38, so we're still doing pretty good on time. And then I also would like to get this vlog edited 
and ready to go. So first I'm gonna start with updating the budget. I feel like that's gonna be the easiest thing to do. just finished updating our budget. It was really easy. I like using that app to kind of keep track of everything that we're doing. So just finished that, crossed it off my to-do list. And now I just have a little bit of computer work left to do. I've got to finish prepping for the upcoming week and fill out my planner. And then that's about it. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this productive day. I feel like I truly was productive. I'm really glad that I kind of took today to get most of my work done. I'm sure I'll have a few things to do tomorrow, but that's okay because at least a big chunk of my to-do list is done and out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog so that way I can kind of start to kind of wind down and get ready for Matt to come home so we can honestly just enjoy the rest of our night because Unfortunately, the Thanksgiving break is coming to a close and while that makes my heart so sad, you know, we've got Christmas to look forward to. So I'm just going to try to make the most of what's left of our break. So I'm going to finish up my computer work and then Matt and I will probably watch some kind of fun movie tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog.